President Donald Trump has an endless list of reasons why he is a truly terrible president of the United States and leader of the free world. His critics never get bored because they never have to find themselves repeating things about him, the sheer volume of things he gets so badly wrong on a daily basis provides for ample material. However, there is one thing that he really should not be getting wrong. He is a businessman and supposedly a highly successful one, so if there is one area of policy he should actually be pretty good at, it is managing the finances of the country and ensuring that we are being economically productive. The reality, of course, is a million miles away from that. President Donald Trump has an endless list of reasons why he is a truly terrible president of the United States and leader of the free world. His critics never get bored because they never have to find themselves repeating things about him, the sheer volume of things he gets so badly wrong on a daily basis provides for ample material. However, there is one thing that he really should not be getting wrong. He is a businessman and supposedly a highly successful one, so if there is one area of policy he should actually be pretty good at, it is managing the finances of the country and ensuring that we are being economically productive. The reality, of course, is a million miles away from that. As it turns out, the administration and White House of President Donald Trump is screwing over the economy just as badly as it is screwing over all the other aspects of American policies. New data released by the U.S. Treasury Department in what is known as the Daily Treasury Statement reveals just how poorly the economy is performing under Trump and unveils the shocking scale of debt that he has got us spiraling into. The national debt has surpassed $22 trillion. The national debt was $19.947 trillion on Jan. 20, 2017, the day President Donald Trump took the oath of office. It has climbed more than $2 trillion since then, to $22.013 trillion. The share for every man, woman, and child in the U.S. is more than $67,000. The debt has risen more than $6,000 per person during the Trump presidency, 